Hello, everyone. This is Dorian Nason, CFA Aubrey Cat Judge for Cat Fans Use Association. I would like to present the Half Bake to Perfection show. And we're going to start with the household pets. But I would also like to thank our sponsors, our platinum sponsors, our gold sponsors, as well as our silver and bronze sponsors for contributing to help with donations to the show, to the virtual show. And so we're gonna start with our household pets. The household pet category is anyone can um, ap apply to. It is based on the condition of the cat and it's pretty much an eye of the beholder of the judge. It is all about different cats and their uniqueness of colors and patterns and sizes. So my top 15, we'll start with our 15th best cat. A very well-fed little guy here, really like him. He is a blue mackerel tabby and white, short hair. Uh, love the eye color on him and the, the big um, well-filled body. <laughs> uh, really pretty expression. He is my 15th best household pet. My fourth best household pet is this black and white short hair, about 10 month old uh, male. Um, really like, he has that mask of Zorro, the very evenness of the pattern that he has and that little smudge black nose. Um, he even has a cute little tail light on the end. If you look, you can see on the end of his tail, I call it tail lights where they have a little white spot on the end. And um, you can see he's full of, full of fullness of loving everything. So he is my 14th, 14th best household pet. My 13th best household pet is this beautiful calico. Really like the pattern on her. She is a proper color of a cal calico. There's no tabby pattern on her. Um, like the fact that she's, she's uh, you could tell she is living in a warmer climate and she certainly has a personality um, and uh, beautiful uh, pattern on her. She is my 13th best cat, household pet. My 12th best household pet is this black and white long hair. Really like how he is completely black in the face and then he's got this white chin. <laughs> um, really like the coat on him. He was beautifully presented, very thick coat on him and his little white feet. He is my 12th best household pet. My 11th best household pet is this beautiful little silver spotted short hair. Really like the eye color and the nice little ghost pattern of the, the spotting on him. Very cute looking little female actually, and it's five months old. Um, like the, um, the overall uh, pattern in the light pale silver on her. She is my 11th best household pet. My 10th best household pet is this beautiful brown tabby and white, uh, long hair, about three years old, female. Love the real sweet expression. She's very balanced in the face. And what I mean by that is the, the symmetry and the eyes and the ears just balance into her face, giving her that real cute, sweet, very docile presence to her. Um, love the, uh, the coat on her, the, the beautiful, beautifully groomed that she is. Uh, she does a good job for herself. <laughs> um, and um, just a beautiful little girl. She is my 10th best household pet. My ninth best household pet is this beautiful black smoke tabby is what I call him. He's got a nice uh, heavy uh, tabby pattern and that nice smoke. The smoke is actually a white undercoat on the body. So when you flip the coat, you will see a white uh, undercoat under the body. But he's got beautiful luminous green eye color, really makes, a, makes his eyes striking to the black uh, background of his uh, um, coat color. Uh, very muscular looking guy. He is my ninth best household pet. My eighth best household pet is this cinnamon, cinnamon colored short hair. Really love the color. It's that nice rusty bronzy kind of color. And if you think about it, open a bottle of cinnamon and look at the cinnamon color and look at him. And yeah, he looks like a cinnamon color. Really like the pattern, uh, the, the evenness of it, lack of pattern, I would say. And the eye color actually kind of blends in with his ground color, which is unique. Um, you can tell he's a little cutesy there. He is my eighth best household pet. My seventh best household pet is a brown patch tabby in white with the classic pattern, which is that circular bullseyes on the body. Uh, really love the contrast from that bright bronzy red, like a mahogany red to the brown coloring. 
Um, and you can see she's she's quite playful and full of herself. Really love the condition of her and how she's um, got even a shine to her coat. She is my seventh best household pet. My sixth best household pet is this seal torty point in white. Uh, she's got quite a unique pattern on her as to the point color and the white. Uh, you can see there's some patches of red to give that torty point look. And then you see the white pattern mixed in. She's got quite an amazing deep blue eye color on her. She is an older female, about nine years old. Um, really like the overall look of her and the condition. She is my sixth best household pet. My fifth best household pet is this brown patch tabby, uh, brown patch tabby spotted pattern and white female. Really like how she's got a very moral look to her uh, with the, the, the spots and the stripes in her pattern. Uh, very nice deep contrast to her. Love the eye color on her. And she's even got uniqueness to her muzzle where she's got some white on the corners of her mouth. She is my fifth best household pet. My fourth best household pet is this brown classic tabby and white male, uh, about two years old. Really love the eye color on him. It's a very nice like aqua kind of eye color. Um, very pretty expression on him with that, that nice medium length of coat and even has a little white spot pattern on his back. He is my fourth best household pet. My third best household pet is another pretty, um, brown classic tabby, brown patch tabby, classic pattern and white, female, short hair. Really like, again, the contrast of that red pattern to the brown. Um, you can tell she's quite a, a cutesy with her little attitude. She's very confident in herself. Um, really like the white under, uh, the white, how it is in the front and it looks like she's got a little saddle on the back. Um, really pretty expression. She is my third best household pet. My second best household pet is a cat that kind of looks like one of my old cats that I've had years ago. With this blue and white um, male, short hair, about five years old, um, very full body. <laughs> really like how he's got a little bit of the white around the corners of his mouth, like he's gotten into something and he has that look of like, what? <laughs> Really a pretty expression on him and that nice deep blue color on him. And he's got little gloves on him. He's my second best household pet. And my best household pet is, she's quite unique. Unfortunately, you can't see all the pictures, but she is a blue eyed silver patch tabby in white. Kind of unusual to see blue eyes, but also the uniqueness of the pattern on her body. Like she's got like two different cats put together. Um, it's a unique pattern I see where she's got one leg that shows all that brown tabby on her. I'm sorry, silver tabby. And the uh, other leg is showing like a, like a cameo color and uh, the white in the toes. Uh, and then of course you see the lack of pattern on the body, but there's also a lot of barring on the tail. Very unique. And I always like the unique, <laughs> the, the ones that, that stand out. And that's what she is. And she is my best household pet. And again, I want to thank all the people that work hard to put this show together. Uh, there's a lot of back crew that put this together, and I am very grateful to be part of this show, and thank you very much.